Hello, the year. How are you today? Well, today is Monday, the 29th of June. It's cloudy and cold. Yes, today we are going to go to Unit 7. Bye bye, Unit 6. Hello, Unit 7. Relative clauses who, which, that, where, and whose. Vocabulary jobs were building. Review on present perfect, past simple. Review. Adverbs. Yes. We are going to highlight all the grammar charts. We are going to write own examples with the grammar. Yes. And we're going to work on pages 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. 84. Acuérdense que son las, la, las páginas que se hacen a la par de la clase. And then as homework, we're going to work on page 52, 53, 54, and 55 from the activity book. Okay? Yes, right. Well, shall we go very quickly to unit 7, all right? Yes, okay. Work, yes? So you have to look at the photo here, yes? And there's a woman working in a steel factory in Pennsylvania, USA, the USA. And you have to look at the photo of this woman and describe her job using some of these word, words, yes? So, why do you think she's there? Yes, because she needs the job, because she likes the job, yes? Um, because uh, she needs the money, yes? Because she loves doing there, working in a factory, yes? Uh, do you think this job is interesting? It's dangerous, it's uh, hard, it's challenging, it's tiring, tiring? So you are going to highlight all the words there, the keywords from the units, and remember de la A a la Z, va poniendo la palabra, la palabra, yes, ok, que no sabías, esto es personal, it's personal, porque cada alumno va a tener diferente, y el que sabe todo, yes, no creo que no sepan todo, pero bueno, debe haber alguna palabrita, yes, ok, Good. So I think this job is dangerous. Yes, okay. Um, she must be trained, skilled for this, uh, for doing this job. Of course, it's mu it must be tiring at the end of the day. I wouldn't do this job because uh, it is very dangerous and I don't want to put my life in risk. But if I need the money, of course, um, I will have to do it, yes, okay, so we're going to listen, then we're going to project uh, some more pictures about jobs, but first of all, we're going to listen to someone talking about the job in the photo, choose the correct option, so I want you to read, yes, the vocabulary first, and then choose the correct option, all right, is it clear, there we are, wait a minute, Wait, wait, wait. There we are. Be patient. Eh, Máximo, ¿me pudiste mandar finalmente ese brainstorming? Yes, antes de pasar el listening. Eh, muy pobre el brainstorming ese, Máximo, ponete las pilas, mira las clases, mira cómo es, es la explicación de hacer un brainstorming, igualmente ya lo saben desde tercer grado cómo hacer un brainstorming, second year and third year este año, así que eh, tiene muchas falencias en tensis, ¿sí? y cosas que no son acciones principales que hayan pasado en eh, chapters, from chapters 1, to four, yes? So pay attention y no escribo cualquier cosa, sino sobre lo que se me está pidiendo. Yes, okay? Um, bueno, ese es el tema, ¿sí? Y por fin me mandaste después, por segunda vez en PDF, pero siempre todos los trabajitos que se mandan son en PDF, o si no, no pueden ser corregidos. Benicio, man is singular, men is plural, yes, okay? 
Antes de ir al listening, I will get rid of mistakes from the one to four uh, chapters. Yes, from the turn of the screw. Yes, okay. Um, locked, repetition, Benicio. Locked, child and children. Child is singular, children is plural, yes. Past, yes, or present, eh, Benicio, sí. Contá todo en pasado, porque ahora yo pedí que cuenten el pasado para practicarles, para eh, corregirles el pasado, los verbs, yes. Scared, repeat, frightened, y usen el vocabulario, el, el, el dictionary online. No tienen más que escribir la palabra, sí, apretar el parlantecito y te sale la pronunciación en lo que estés inseguro, ¿sí? Antes de que yo le esté... Eso va a pasar ya por el profesionalismo que tiene cada alumno, ¿sí? Está, yo les enseño, de ahí están ustedes, usarlos o no. Scared, le doy las tools. Las tools. Scared, frightened, continue. Guille, red, repetition. Ojo con los verbos en pasado, Guille. Decided, happened. El resto puede repetir también porque no les va a venir mal. Employment, este, el trabajo. To look after, para cuidarla. Child, children, como Benicio también. Accepted, traveled. The housekeeper, couldn't go. Forget about, strange man. Quiet, quint, perdón, quint. Watching Flora, were secretly seeing. Yes, there was a woman that was secretly Seeing them, looking at them. Máximo, bueno, primero no me mandaste en PDF, después me mandaste en PDF, bueno. Eh, bueno, lo que ya te dije. Eh, took care of, listen to. Children's uncle, yes. Y yo voy a explicar algo. Eh, Camila, no me interesa dónde estés. Con tal de que a mí me llegue el trabajo, pueden estar debajo de un árbol si quieren, pero a mí me tiene que llegar el trabajo. Este está un poquito mejor, Camila. ¿Sí? Cuando vos te pones las pilas, empezás a hacer todas las cosas paso por paso, paso a paso y todo bien enfatizado, mejorás. Pero si no haces nada, empezás a decaer un montón. ¿eh? When to live, governance, repeat, miles, miles, they are friends. Yes, ok. Uh, they were friends. Yes. Was wearing, she was wearing. Yes. Mrs. Cruz. My friend, they were dead. Yes. Uh, they saw two, no, no, va el two. They saw fulanito de tal. Yes. Uh, Rodri appeared, dale Rodri repetition. Innocent, screw, miles, strange, child, Douglas, before más ING, Rodri, intended, queda intended, está bien, pero es tried to infinitivo. Tried, yes. Meet somebody, no meet to or meet with. Eh? I met my sister, yes. Came back home, the man that appeared was fulanito de tal. Find, accepted, no fine, find. Uh, muy bien, la pronunciación de todos los, estos, que, estos son los errores, ¿no? Pero la pronunciación, the pronunciation of all the other verbs, muy bien, Rodri. Se nota que ahí hay, eh, por lo menos lo que yo veo, práctica, eh, me parece que lo, lo masticaste antes de, de decirlo, ¿sí? Miles, Flora, and ta, 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 were playing. Y voy a explicar el error común, man, men también, ¿eh? Ojo, el error común acá es el siguiente. Te pongo acá eh, todo el vocabulario de la A a la Z. Vos ya sabés a lo que me refiero con de la A a la Z. Que todas las new words de la unidad 7 se aparece, por ejemplo, skilled. Vos no lo sabes y vas a irte a la S y vas a poner skilled units, skilled units 7. Y vas a poner el significado y vas a escribir una frase con skilled. Si no sabes, por ejemplo, tiring, vas a poner tiring unit 7. Cansador y vas a escribir, this was a tiring day. ¿Está? Up to you. Yes, ok. Um, tu, 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 tu. Bien, perfecto. Dead. Died. Dead, died and... Dead, died and death. Ya lo 
apliqué otras veces, pero vuelvo a aplicar porque a mí no me cansa esto. Pero tienen que tratar de todo lo que se les explica ir metiendo en la cabecita. I saw a dead man. I saw a dead body. Vamos a ponerle. ¿Está? So this is a noun, a verb or an adjective. It's an adjective. She died mysteriously. Yes. She died is the verb. Yes. All right. And dead. Her death. Her death. Perdón. Sorry. Her death was unfair okay so you have dead as an abstract noun yes la muerte su muerte está entonces tenés adjetivo be un dead body murió y muerte está así que prestar atención now we can go to the listening is it clear all right there we are ready steady and go Track 53, Unit 7, Opener. Opener. When I left school at 18, I didn't have a proper job at first. I worked part-time in a restaurant, and I also did some manual work for... A I left school at 18, I didn't have a proper job at first. I worked part-time in a restaurant, and I also did some manual work for a construction company. In the end, I applied for a job as a steel worker at our local steel mill. Pennsylvania has a large steel industry, though it doesn't employ as many people nowadays. Anyway, I've been here for about five years now. At first, it was all low-paid work, but I did a lot of training and learned new skills, so now my salary is better. There are eight people in my team, six men and two women, and we all get on really well. It's hard work and the hours are long. You're inside most of the day and you're working with steel at temperatures which can reach 3,000 degrees, so it gets pretty hot around here. <laughs> Sometimes people are surprised when I tell them where I work. I don't think they expect women to work in a place like this, but there are quite a few other women working in this kind of industry. In fact, my supervisor is also a woman. Okay, uh, do you think this is a job for a woman or there nowadays there don't exist jobs that for men or for women? Yes, what do you think at home? Yes, and well, she says, yes, uh, that uh, she said that her supervisor, supervisor is a woman, is also a woman. So, um, you know, uh, in Pennsylvania, um, there is six, a lot of uh, steel factories. Yes, they work on that. Yes, um, when she left, uh, she was very young when she started working. Yes, they are in that factory. She was 18 years old. Yes, okay. Uh, at home, what about you? Uh, your parents tell, uh, tell you that if you don't study, you will work or you will, you will stay at home doing nothing. Yes, in the past, parents used to say, you study or work. If you don't study, you must work. Yes, and well, so you have to deal with that. Yes, okay, or you study or work, or both. Yes, okay, well, exercise two, part-time, so you have, esto también va en el cuaderno de vocabulario, part-time or full-time job, yes, okay, part-time, if you can work, or in the morning or in the afternoon, and full-time job, full-time job is in the morning, in the morning and in the afternoon, all right, is it clear? But in this case, she said part-time. Number two, manual work. Yes, you can do office work or manual work. Yes, for example, um, in the steel factory or uh, in a construction factory. Yes, okay, company, sorry. Yes, okay. Well, uh, number three, low pay, low pay. Yes, okay. You can be well paid. 
Yes, I think teachers are low pay. I think politicians are well pay. Yes, overrated. Yes, okay. Well, um, number four. Are you there? Yes. Hard work with long hours. Yes, it's a hard work. You work for long hours, okay? And she works, yes, in a team, yes? Not on her own, yes? If you work on your own, you are alone, yes? You are your own boss, yeah? Boss, boss, yes? Exercise three. But first of all, uh, I'm going to project a picture. Hello, picture, where are you? Here you are. Okay, this is war building. This is war building. Yeah, so I want you to pay attention here. Yes. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, so you have jobs. Yes, okay. Choose or ER, OR, and YAN, IST to make jobs. Okay? So, ACT, TOR. Yes, okay? DENT, TEES. DOG, TOR. Yes? DRIVER, HAIRDRESSER, JOURNALIST. Receptionist, wait, waitress and waiter, beautician, yes, we have cleaner, yes, electrician, optician, photographer, plumber, sales assistant and teacher, yes, okay, so you have uh, suffixes, yes, okay, to make professions to make jobs yes okay so you have act is the verb actor is the noun yes is it clear okay clean is a verb yes or an adjective too yes and if you add er it becomes another noun cleaner yes okay safe assistant teach is a verb and you have ER teacher, yes, okay? Is it clear? Dentist, cleaner, waiter, receptionist, yes, optician, photographer, plumber, yes, okay? And you have different professions. Could you like to be a teacher? Yes or no? What do you think? Are teachers well pay or are teachers low pay? Could you like to be a plumber? Could you like to be an electrician? Yes, why not? Could you like to be a beautician? Yes, no, why? Could you like to be a dentist? Oh my God, I would like to be a dentist. Yes, okay. Because I don't know, uh, um, or a doctor, yes, because I don't want to feel uh, other people's pain. Yes, okay. Well, um, yes, okay. So at home, you have to choose a job, describe the job. Yes, okay. What does uh, a beautician do? Yes. What does a doctor do? He looks after patients. What does a teacher do? He teaches students. Yes. Okay. And then choose which one would you like to be? Would you like to be an actor? Yes. They perform plays. Would you like to be uh, a photographer? Yes. No. Why? Okay. Choose one and describe, describe it. Choose one at home. Yes. Pay attention now. Pay attention. So this was jobs were building. But pay attention now. Yes? Okay. A doctor is a person who looks after, yes, their patients. He
his patients or her patients, yes, okay? A person who, yes? Is it clear? Yes? This is the man who I got married with, yes, okay? She is the woman who crossed, yes, the, who crossed the street with me last night. She is the woman who dropped uh, carefully, yes, who dropped the car carefully last night, yes? She is the woman who took beautiful photos last year. Is it clear? So when you say quien, when you are referring to a person, you use who. ¿Qué vas a hacer en casa? You are going to take a paper, yes, and you are going to write examples with who, yes, which, that, where, and whose. San Martin Square is the place where I play. Susan, yes, this is the, the photographer is a woman who, a photographer is a person who takes photos. A doctor is a person who looks after his or her patients. Yes, this is una frase con who. Vamos a ver. Buenos Aires is the place where I live. Yes, okay. San Martín Square is the place where I play. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. This is the marker, the highlighter, whose owner is David. This is the highlighter, whose owner is David. This is the ball, whose owner is Ornella. Y es que estoy diciendo, ¿a quién pertenece el objeto que estoy nombrando? Yes, is it clear? Entonces, acordate que cuando usas whose, vas a tener que nombrar que es la posesión de alguien. Yes, is it, clear? is it clear? This is the notebook whose owner is Teacher Ruth. Yes, these are the trousers whose owner are David. Yes, okay, whose owner is David. Yes, okay, is it clear? Yes, all right. So pay attention now. Yes. Sí o sí tenés que escribir, sigo con esto, ¿eh? Sigo con esto, sigo con esto, pero apago porque necesito ya la projection, ¿ok? Entonces, on the paper, you are going to write examples with who, yes, where, which, o that, yes, whose, Yes, and who's. Is it clear? Like this. Own examples with. Yes, okay. With the set, with the who's, where, and why. Yes, okay. That is the woman who, yes, lost her cat. That is the man who I talked to. Yes, okay. That is the girl who worked with me last year. Where? Are you there? This is the house where I live. Yes. That is the hospital where I was born. Yes. Is it clear? Where para lugares. Para decir esa es la casa donde. Yes. This is the cat which I like. This is the dog which lives next door. Yes, is it clear? That is the apple that I like. That is the cake that I cooked. Yes, is it clear? Yes, for object you use that. Yes, okay. Which of that? Yes, okay. Is it clear? Who, anotate personas, where, places, which of that, things, and whose possession. This is the house, whose, this is the man whose father is handsome. Yes, this is uh, the boy whose mom is my friend. Yes, okay, yes, is it clear? Right, 
me haces un clip o lo que sea, and stick it there in your notebook. Igualmente, acordate, the examples here and the sentences de la A a la Z con las palabras que no sabías, ¿ok? Armamos en el ejercicio 3, please. Are you there? Yes? All right. So we have, vamos a armar eh, profession, dale. Hotel, sales, please, fashion and shop. Assistant, designer, representative, officer, receptionist. Receptionist. Repetition at home, ¿eh? Dale. Una de arriba, una de abajo. Dale. Una. A ver. Hotel receptionist. Well done, Rodri. Sales representative. Well done, Benicio. Police officer. Well done, Jose. Fashion designer. Well done, Camila. Shop assistant. Well done, Maxi. Ok. Good. Well. No me adelante la clase, Maxi. Muy poco la sé durar. Ok. Jobs. Y ahora que ya sabemos todos los otros jobs, cómo se arman, vamos a marcarlos en la page 82 and 83. Dale, vamos, rapidito. Page 82 and 83. Y page 84 and 85 también tenemos que poner la fecha. Dale, jobs. We are going to repeat. Yes, ok. Todos los cuadros, por favor, tenemos más words, word building, yeah, los sufijos para cada uno de los, para armar jobs, present perfect and past simple, y for and since. Vamos a repasar, así que acá es el momento, Benicio, que por ahí te mezclas con los tiempos, porque a todo second year, third year, y durante todos los años, los tiempos verbales son el pilar de la casa que estamos construyendo. ¿Se entiende, no? La base, la base, ¿está? Yes, ok. Good. There we are. Plan, plan, plan. Track 53. In... Good. In the UK, some jobs are difficult to fill because there aren't enough people qualified to do them. Working pairs, okay? Uh, which of the five jobs do you think are difficult to fill? Yes, okay? Accountant, chef, computer program, programmer, electrician, engineering, engineer, perdón, journalist, marketing manager, nurse, repetition, shop assistant, teacher, or waiter. Yes, which one do you think are difficult to fill? ¿Cuáles puestos son difíciles de, de, de llenar? Yes, because the, uh, there aren't... Um, People who are qualified to do those jobs. Yes, yeah? so what, which one do you think are? A ver, arriesga, risk. Computer programmer, nurse, engineer, accountant, and marketing manager. So study and go to the UK. You will get a job. Yes, okay. Number two. Yes, okay. And then you have word building. Pues todas las palabras, los sufijos que usamos, okay? Ver más sufijo. Teach. Teacher, noun más suffix, journal, journalist, yes, entonces a los verbos, cook, yes, cooker, teach, teacher, yes, is it clear, wait, waiter, de un verbo a un, para hacer un sustantivo agregamos er, está, journal, Sustantivo, yes, journal, journalist, otro sustantivo. Some job titles do not use Sufi, algunos no usan, como chef, chef, and nurse, yes. Vamos a la página 59, perdón, uh, exercise 2, sorry, exercise 2, are you there? Underline suffixes in the jobs. Quiero que subraye todos los sufijos, ¿está? Los sufijos son los que van al final, los prefijos adelante de la palabra. ¿Yes? Eso ya lo sabéis de la escuela, supongo. Accountant, computer programmer, electrician, engineer, journalist, marketing manager, shop assistant, teacher, waiter. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Good. Exercise. When you have the jobs there, came to pan... To pen Pennsylvania, yes, 
uh, an energy company discovered gas underground in the state of Pennsylvania in the USA. Now there are lots of energy companies in Pennsylvania. Many people's life, no, lives have changed. Yes, awful. Life and lives. Vidas, eh, vivir, perdón, eh. Y vidas, eh, this is singular and this is plural. ¿Está? This is my life. This is my life. Your lives. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. Okay, and then you have all the workers there. Yes, okay. They work in, the, in the, those factories. Yes. Uh, uh, selling construction uh, company. Uh, for equipment for about 35 years, he has worked there. Um, the second woman, Lee, hasn't had a job since, marca la palabra since, no signs, sino since. Y en la del muchachito Paul Batista, yes, for, por tantos años, I have been a teacher for, I have worked in this institution for, yes, I have uh, worked, I have lived here since. I was born, uh, I have studied since 1999 until blah, blah, blah. Yes, okay. Um, the first one um, hasn't made much money. Yes, okay. But uh, he has a regular income. Yes, okay. He has regular money. Yes, okay. Well, so I want you to go to exercise three very quickly. Yes, okay. Farm, farmer. Well done. Economics, economist. Science, scientist. Drive, driver. Este es la, el ejercicio que entra siempre en el test, que es make any necessary changes you need. Drive, driver. Politics, politician. Build, builder. Train, trainer. Okay? So, do the reading, yes, and number one, businessman, Paul Batista, trainee, driver, Lee, farmer, Donald, okay, exercise five, you have to read the article, this is the reading, if you have problems in the reading, in the, uh, in the exam, in the global exam, it means that you are not doing with the right attention the readings in the class book or in the activity book. ¿Se entiende? Todos estos ejercicios de reading que hay en el book y en el activity book lo tienen que hacer a conciencia. When I say, now is the time that you stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answer, es eso. No estar nomás sentado y... Ay, bueno, ahí que dice la respuesta, me voto al costado. No, because this is wrong. Ok. Good. Well, uh, be honest with you. Where did leo y contesto en frase? En frase. Energy company discovered nat natural gas in Pennsylvania. Yes, ok. Uh, are you there? Good. Number five. They discovered it in 2004. What does Donald get from the energy company? Está en presente simple porque está el das, es un auxiliar de present simple. He gets energy. He, ah, no, perdón. Uh, he gets uh, a regular monthly income. Una entrada regular. Yes, okay. Number three. What jobs does Lee want to get? She wants to be, she wants a job as a driver. What training is she doing? She's learning to drive trucks, camiones, yes, okay? What kind of company does Paul, blah, 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 run? He sells construction equipment. Why is Paul business looking good? Because his profits have increased, have increased, see? Okay, so how do you form present perfect? You form the present perfect with have or have plus the past participle. 
I cap lift, I cap correct it for, yes, cap o cas. Esto ya lo saben, chicos, ¿eh? Rebobinando nomás. Más la tercera columna. I cap studied for three hours. Have you studied for three hours? Have you corrected since three o'clock? I have studied English since 1990 tanto. Is it clear? So pay attention now. You have four. Me dicen por favor las, uh, los adverbios del present simple, del present perfect. Dale, tell me. Four, yes, okay. Since, yes. Just, I have just finished my homework. Yes, okay. Yet, ¿cómo va yes? Muy bien. Interrogative and negative. Muy bien, Mia. Okay. Good. Uh, for, since, just, yet, and already. I have already had my dinner. I have already had my dinner. I have visited my friends. I have drunk a cup of tea. Perdón. La tercera columna. Yes, is it clear? Entonces, revisamos todo, 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 todos los verbos. ¿Ok? Good. So, you are going to do exercises. Marcar el chart primero. Yes. Chart, chart. Y agrega, por favor, acá todos los otros adverbios. Agregate just. Agregate already, para no olvidarlos. Agregate eh, yet. Para negative e interrogative sentences, ¿ok? Bueno, exercises 8, 9, 11 and 12 and 13, todos. Dale, come on, ready? Now is the time that I continue, that I continue, but you stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. All right, is it clear? Um, the correct option, or present perfect, or pass. Went, went. I qualified, I haven't lived, I work, I spent, presente perfecto es una actividad que no ha terminado, ¿sí? I have studied for three days, puede, comenzó en el pasado, pero puede que siga ahora, yes, ok, uh, and past is finished, it's in the past, it's been, seven weren't, eight has created, has created, has improved. Nine. How long? Otra cosa, marcate las preguntas con how long. Yes? Dale, vamos a hacer four questions with how long. How long have you uh, studied English? Uh, how long have you lived in Formosa? How long have you uh, corrected exams? How long have you studied in that football academy or football club? Yes, okay. How long have you practiced? How long have you played football? Yes, dale, te toca a vos. How long have you studied English? I have studied English for many years and I continue studying it. Yes. Uh, I have lived, how long have I lived, lived in Formosa? I have lived in Formosa since I was born. Yes, okay. Um, that's all. Yes? Okay. How long have I corrected? Oh, oh my God. I have corrected for five hours. Okay? Is clear? Good. Hacete preguntas con how long. A eso me refiero con los own examples que dice ahí. Cada ejemplo con cada cosa que vamos dando. Okay? Good. Um, how long have you worked for your company? Two. Acá hay que poner o how long, o usar el present perfect o el pasado, eh. Ojo, eh. When did you go to college? Three. Have you always lived in Pennsylvania? Four. When did you move back here? Five. Have you ever walked? Worked overseas? Six. Has it been easy living here? How long have you studied? How long, how long have you Auxiliar, sujeto, verbo. ¿Es it clear? 
Good. Uh, number 11. Are you there? Four or five years. When I was 19. No, I haven't. In 2015. Yes, I have. Yes, it has. Number 11. Perdón, el 10 era ese, nada que ver porque no, no lo voy a hacer ese. El 11. Since and for, perdón. Yes, ok. 12. ¿Estás ahí? Bien. Since 2008. For two weeks. For six days. Since. Since, number four, eh. One o'clock. Desde la una. Since. Yes. I started work. Since. 1st of January, the 1st of January, for 24 hours, and since I was 10. Is it clear? Y en el, en el 13 practicamos how long, como ya lo hicimos recién. Vamos a las pages 84 and 85. X-ray photographer. ¿Ok? Parts of the buildings. Acá tenemos vocabulario de parts of the building. Yes, ok. Is it clear? Good. Put the dates, highlight the keywords, highlight the charts. Yes, you have prepositions. Clock 56, unit 7. Okay, let's repeat. Go down, go down the stairs and open the door and bye-bye. Yes, come up the stair. So you come up the stair, walk out of the building. Yes, salir. Entonces vos tenés las preposition phrases there. Yes, la preposition of place, ya la sabemos que son opposite, on, at, yes, and preposition of movement, go down to the pavement, go down the stairs, go up the stairs, yes, okay, come up the stairs, walk out of the building, walk off the building, walk out of, perdón, walk out of the building, preposition of movement, follow verbs movement, okay, entonces, las preposiciones de movimiento van a seguir verbos. Por ejemplo, go out of the house, come, yes, come up the stairs, walk out of the office. Is it clear? Ok, vamos todos juntos a la página 168, highlighted en la mano. Ok, subrayamos present perfect and past simple, present perfect and past simple, preposition of movement, for and since, y acordate que vos no tenés solamente for and since, sino nosotros ya tenemos todas las preposiciones y le agregas just, yet, already. Y tenemos las preposition of uh, place and movement. Preposition of movement, acá abajo también. Todo subrayado porque de acá estudiamos. No hay un sílabus que hay que ir a comprar a ninguna librería. ¿Está claro? Yes, máximo. Ok. Well. At, in, above, repetition under. Miramos los dibujitos. Below, opposite. Between, in front of, behind, next to, near, on. Yes, okay. At home, at work, at school, in London, in Mexico, on the right, on the left. Yes. On the first floor, on the second floor. Yes, okay. And then you have down, up, out of, inside, outside. Está muy bueno ese dibujito. Pass, go past, ¿te acordás? Que hacíamos con las directions. Go past the city center, uh, the cinema, the train station. Yes, ok. Go through. Yes, ok. Go through San Martín Square, que te da la idea de que cruzas el parque, cruzas la plaza. Go along, go along the riverside. Yes, ok. I'll go along. When you are in the beach, you go along the coast, yes, okay, um, and go across, yes, go through, es con la idea de atravesar, yes, okay, and go across, yes, ahí se nota súper, súper, súper bien el dibujito ese que tenemos, los dibujitos que tenemos, okay, 
Y marcate que siempre los, las preposiciones de movimiento se van a usar con verbos eh, que describen movimiento. Por ejemplo, go out of the house. Yes, ok. Climb. Yes, up. Yes, walk along. Walk across the street. Yes, you walk across the street. Yes, is it clear? Good. Vamos rapidito ahora a marcar basement. Canteen, repetition, corridor, emergency, exit. Qué bueno que está el dibujo, ¿eh? X-ray photographer. Entrance, ground floor. Yes, lift. Lift is, um, this is the lift. Yes, I'm British English. And you have elevator, American English. Is it clear? Uh, office, reception, and stair. Can you complete the sentences, please? Are you there? Good, good, good. There we are. Param, param. One. Look at the photo. Yes, what type of photography is it? It's a X-ray. It's X-ray photography. Yes, como las que te sacan cuando te golpeas la cabeza. Sí, esos son una X-ray. Yes, okay. Number two. Yes, he took a series of x-ray photographs and put them together in one picture. Qué buena que está, eh? Está buenísima. Yes, and uh, number three. Do you like this kind of photography? Yes, for me it's art. I love it. Yes, it's really, it's interesting, it's different. Yes, okay. And um, it's like uh, everybody is naked. Yes, okay. Good, that is art. Yes, exercise two. Number one, I work in an office. Number two, you can buy your car outside. Outside, yes. The entrance of the building. Receptionist, I work on the ground floor. El de abajo, eh? De todos. Yes, ground floor, corridor. Walk down the corridor, el corredor. Number five, lift, acordate, es um, el ascensor, but this is British English. And elevator, elevator is American English, yes? Stairs, emergency exit, canteen, basement, yeah? Good. Let's go to the listening, listen to exercise five, yes? Listen to two people conversation, talking on the phone, uh, with people who work in the building in the photo, okay? Answer the questions, conversation one and conversation two. B. Conversation one. Hello, Christina speaking. Hi, Christina. It's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Where are you calling from? I'm at home. But I'm about to leave for a meeting. Can you help me? I've left a list of prices in the office and I need it for the meeting. Sure. Is it on your desk? I think it's next to my computer. I can't see anything. Oh, well, maybe I left it in one of the drawers behind you. Okay. Which one? Try the top drawer on the left. You know, the top drawer on the left, yes? Let me look. Ah, yes, there's a folder called Price Lists. That's the one. Can you email me a copy of the list with prices for next year? Sure, I'll do that now. Conversation two. Hello, Richard Robert speaking. Hi, I'm here to fix your photocopier, but I don't know which office. I'm standing at the entrance to the building. Okay, great. So, you need to come into the entrance and go up to the third floor. Go through the door on your right and the photocopying room is there. My office is next to it, so I'll meet you. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay. So, number one from number five, yes. Uh, where is uh, he calling from? Home. 
uh, on the first floor where the person is sitting on the photo. Ya lo ubicaste, ¿no? Number three, in the top drawer on the left behind Cristina. Four, to mend the photocopier. Five, on the third floor next to the photocop photocopying room. Yes, okay. Photocopying room, sorry, photocopying room, yes. Number six, at, listen again and you complete, yes. Stop the video now, rewind it and complete. At home, next to my desk, in, behind, number five, on, number six, at, number seven, into, yes, okay. Come into, number eight, go up. Number nine, go through the door on the right and the photocopying room is here, there. My office is next to. Then you have to highlight what we have explained and do exercises eight and nine and you are free. Yes, is it clear? Good, good, good. Are you there? Number eight, on. Number two, down. Acordate, cuando ves verbos que son de movimientos, yes, ok, pones eh, las prepositions, yes, ok. Preposition of movement, yes, ok. Number three, I need some fresh air, let's go. Outside, number four, wait, verbo, yes, at, yes, when you go past the canteen is opposite, go along, yes, okay, is on the left, number eight, walk across, muchas ya las sabíamos de cuando dimos directions, eh, así que recordar eso. Number nine, let's meet in. Number two, it's the room at the top, at the bottom. Cuando describimos pictures, todo está relacionado. My office is on the first floor, on the third floor, on the second floor, on the fourth. Y ahí vamos a usar, yes, fourth, first, second, third, okay. Uh, number four, the printer is next to. The leaf is blah, blah, blah. Go through the reception area to the far exit, exit and walk up the emergency stairs. You walk up the stairs. We got into the lift. Won't go down. Yes, okay. And that is all. So, uh, homework pages 52, exercises 1 and 2, 53. 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, 54, 55, only exercises 3 and 5. Is it clear? Well, so I wait for you next class. I hope you are fine. Bye-bye. Um, See you next class.